how to create nft art on solana network hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own nfts on solana network using Solsea. so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so for those of you wondering what is Solsea, Solsea is like open seas but OpenSea works on Ethereum network, whereas SolSea works on Solana network, whereas SolSea works on the Solana network. Now, they're both pretty good, but and they're both amazing as well. But the only difference is that right now, OpenSea is getting a lot of traffic. OpenSea is getting quite a lot of traffic. And because of that traffic, uh, it's out of control. Like the gas wars is out of control, the gas fees, like it's very expensive to post and mint NFTs on OpenSeas at the moment. So that's why Sol where SolSea comes, it is much, much more cheaper and it provides the same amount of services as OpenSeas, uh, but it's much more cheaper and uh, everything is in control. Nothing is out of control. So that's why we're using SolSeas today. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can basically create your own NFT. Uh, you can use quite a lot of different softwares, um, but I'm just simply going to use Use photoshop in this case uh and i'm just simply gonna go ahead and you know do that so over here uh these are some of the same ones that i created earlier so let's go ahead and use this one uh so so over here let me just go ahead and you know export this i'm just simply gonna go ahead and select all of them go ahead and export this i created this like creating in this nft is pretty simple like you know all you gotta do is just create a line you know some boxes like you know you you first you gotta you know make it everything small like right now it's at a thousand by a thousand right so you gotta go like small you gotta go like 24 by 24 or 30 by 30 and that's when you create this outline and then when you explode that image when you pop that image when you make it big this pixelated effect turns up to you so i'm gonna go ahead and use this but so let me just go ahead and export this real quick uh, i'm gonna you know export it as a jpeg and uh go on export and I'm just simply gonna export it over here in pictures and just simply click on export click on save and there we go so now we have it let me just go ahead and escape it and close that up now that we have our nft ready now what we need to do is we need to come over here on solency and create a wallet now if you scroll down below you can create a wallet at the top but i want to show you something if you scroll down below, as you can see, we have three steps in front of us. First, we need to connect our wallet, then we need to create a collection, and then we need can mint an NFT. So let's go ahead and click on connect your wallet. Now, the wallet that I'm using is going to be Phantom. I already have it installed in my Chrome, so you don't have to worry about that. So you can go ahead and install it into your Chrome. But for the first time users, when you click on Phantom, it's going to take you to their websites where you guys are going to have to sign up. So I've already signed up, created an account, I've already installed it into my Chrome extension. So I'm just simply going to click on it. And as you can see, it's taking me over to here where I have to, you know, create a new wallet or use a recovery phrase. Now I'm going to use a recovery phrase and I'm simply going to have to enter in my recovery phrase. Now that is basically the only way to get back into your uh, cryptocurrency wallet. Whether you're using MetaMask or any other wallet, you need to have know your recovery phase of that wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to click on selected accounts. I'm going to enter in my password, agree to the terms and services and click on save. Click on continue, finish. So now that I'm in, I'm just simply going to click on phantom. It's going to open it up. And now I'm just simply going to click on connect and there we go our wallet has just been connected and now we just have to sign in into our solsi account and there we go everything is now done we've connected our wallet we're now signed in now we can go ahead and start uploading our collection so we go over here at the top and we click on create or we click on over here come over here at the top and click on create collection or just simply click on create nft so we're just simply going to create an nft come over here so make sure that all the information are correct and double checked uh, all spellings before you mention nft because once the process is complete you cannot edit your nfts okay so we got it now over here at, at the top we have three options we have upload static we have upload static preview upload animated preview and upload the artwork file now if you are 
uploading a video file you need to add, add the animated version of it over here the static version of it over here and then the main art file over here so i'm using uh so i'm not i don't have an animated you know artwork so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the static preview and then i'm gonna add the main art file over here as well and once that is done we need to add in the title means i'm gonna call it I call it gradient beanie man yeah and i'm gonna go ahead and say in the short description it's a gradient beanie man what you expect and then in the description i'm gonna set, write the exact same thing because this is just an example video i don't you know being serious i'm just telling you guys how you guys can basically do it so in the short description just write whatever you want in the description just give it a small detailed description about your nft how you created it uh you know it's traits and rarity and stuff like that then your royalties i'm simply going to add two and then in, in the external link if you already have a website or a twitter account where you keep all of your nfts and stuff like that where you keep all of your artwork you can go ahead and add that link over here as well but if not you can leave it blank it's totally fine then you have some tags if you want to add some tags to it you know to make it more appealing and you know easy to find and then you have licenses now over here this is the main part you have to choose the right license so we have a couple of different ones so we have private use we have purse which is non-commercial exploitation we have personal public display that which is like a picture or a, you know a profile picture which is not commercial use of course and then we have public display which is the same as the one before but can be used for publicly meaning uh two or more than two people can use it or a group or a company can use it as well and then we have reproduction slash commercial exploitation which is basically for commercials so i'm going to go ahead and use for public personal public display which cannot be used for commercial use and then i'm just simply going to go ahead and add the trade now in trades if you're adding as let's say a special version of your nft like you i'm sure you remember the uh crypto apes or crypto punks like they had special versions of them with the red hair and the eye patch and cigarettes and stuff like that like those types of nfts then you can go ahead and add those traits over here if you are uploading a special edition of the nft if not then you can keep it fine as well remember you cannot edit your nft after minting make sure that all the information is correct so once you have you know added everything just double check everything and if uh, everything to you seems good and okay just simply click on mint nft now remember you need to have some amount of solana in your account uh if you don't then your nft cannot be minted so as you can see over here i don't have any solana in my account so i cannot mint this nft but if i did all i had to do was click on the approve button over here on my wallet and that is basically it after that i will have gotten the uh, confirmation message from solsi that my nft has now been minted and i can go ahead and sell it on the platform so you guys can go ahead and do that i can't because i don't have any solana i can do that because i don't have any solana in my account i guess that is it for this video guys i have to end this video over here but you guys can go ahead and continue it on and upload your nft but i'm sure you guys understand what i'm saying and uh, so the process is going to be exactly the same nothing is going to change all you got to do is just click on approve at the end and that is basically it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye